Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another quick video, guys. So I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the swipe navigation gestures. Okay, so to find the navigation gestures, just go into settings and scroll down to display. And then scroll down to where it says navigation bar. So manage the home, back and recent buttons or use gestures for more screen space. So select it. Okay, so fresh out of the box when you take the phone out of the box, the buttons are enabled. As you can see, the back button, the home button and the recent apps button. However, if you don't like it and you want to free up space on the display there, you can use the swipe gestures. And there's also an option for more options. And you can either switch from swipe from bottom to swipe from the sides and the bottom. So I'm just gonna demonstrate how this works. So swipe up from each area of the bottom of your phone to go back. Go to the home screen or view recent apps. So if I swipe up, As you can see, it brings me back. If I go into any of the applications and I swipe up, it brings me back to the home screen. Or if you want to just simply go straight back to the home screen, just swipe up from the middle and then if you want to bring up the recent applications to swipe up on the first one of these so the swipe up and as you can see it brings up the recent applications okay so i'm just going to go back into the navigations So if you select more options, like I mentioned before, you can switch to swipe from the side and the bottom. So now if I swipe from the side there, it brings me back. And just like before, when you open an application and you want to go back, you just swipe from the side or you can simply just swipe up from the bottom. Some people prefer this option, they say, well, a lot of people think it's a lot quicker than using the buttons, the actual buttons, um, but me, I prefer to use the buttons, that's what I'm used to, um, but some people claim that the swipe gesture is a lot faster than the actual buttons, the home, the back, and the recent apps button. And if you want to bring up the recent apps, just swipe up and hold, and it will bring up the recent applications that you have open also there's some options here gesture hint so show where to swipe up for navigation gestures you can also swipe left or right across the hints to switch between apps there's also show button to hide keyboard the button is only available in portrait mode and there's also block gestures with the S Pen. Also, you can swipe to open assist app and also there's a sensitivity setting here that you can adjust from low to medium to high. So yeah guys, I'm just gonna switch back to the buttons. This is what I prefer. I'm used to it. Okay, so I've switched back to the buttons. As you can see, the back button is back, the home button and the recent apps button is back. You can also switch up the order of these buttons as well. So 
the back button is here, the home button is here in the middle, and the recent apps is here on the left, but you can switch the order. So the back button is here on the left, the home button is in the middle, and the recent apps button is on the right. So I'm just going to keep it on the default one. But yeah, guys, this was just my video demonstrating how the swipe navigation works and how you can adjust the settings on the navigation bar. Hope this video helped you out. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also share the video. It's your boy, the Android Doctor, and I'm out. See you in the next one, guys. Deuces.